All right, hey y'all, this is At with Meals Under Pressure. We're gonna try cooking a rotisserie chicken in our Vortex air fryer tonight. It's gonna be our first shot, but I think we got it going on pretty good. Now, I've already taken some olive oil and I've rubbed, you know, I've rubbed it pretty generously on my chicken. This is a, about a three and a half pound chicken. I don't recommend going too much above this as far as weight. All right, we're gonna hit it with a little salt and pepper. Get under All right, here, okay, make sure you get some down that, that cavity, too. All right, let's do some salt. That was so real when you do that. It wouldn't be real. <laughs> All right, now, I like Cavenders. This Cavenders Greek season. It's one of my favorite. Besides that slap your mama. Yeah, besides slap your mama, but this is one of my favorite seasoning or spices to do. Here, hit me a little more when I'm cooking chicken. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Amy likes rosemary, so. Good. Uh, yep. Now let's hit some garlic some powder. Garlic. Do you want to put garlic cloves inside? We can. Yeah, hit the, these legs yeah, a little cavities like too. Yeah, legs need a little more. Yeah, that one's, yeah, that one's pretty good. Okay. okay. Alright, now we are going to get some twine and we're going to tie these legs up. Put some, put some garlic in and probably tie these wings up and we'll go we'll show the next step all right we'll be back all right so we shoved the cavity with some new potatoes we quarter up some new potatoes and some whole cloves of garlic shoved them in there and i got some twine and i bound up the legs and the, the wings to keep them from flopping around when it's in the rotisserie all right so i've got this the little bar for the rotisserie bar and you have to i've got one put in and i Got it threaded through the neck to come out the other cavity. So you have to, I know my hands are dirty with the oil stuff. Um, you have to unscrew this or loosen the screw up. All right, so I've got this shoved in and this is gonna go with the meat. And that's what you want. So you have to thread it. help here go ahead and pause that let me sorry I had it upside down so you want to get that little screw is gonna a little bolt's gonna go in that right there so, so let me get this put on and tightened up and we'll be back here we go right, so we got our chicken threaded and I've got on this little utensil to put in their tissue right, you got to push this button in and that will allow you to place it See what it does is it brings that knob back and once you get it in place, it'll secure it in there. So, all right, shut it. Gonna hit roast, 380 degrees. Rotate. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna go to rotate. All right, set roast, 380 degrees, rotate, and start. You can see. So we did an hour at 30 degrees, and I took it out, and I make mean, folks, this looks so good. I mean, the outside is crispy. I went ahead and had to unscrew. Oh, there we go. You know, unscrew this. I took the this side off, and now I can take that side off. Uh, I mean, that looks and smells perfect. So we're gonna shred this up, and we're gonna put it on a salad. Uh, but we just want to show you the the rotisserie function of the. The vortex uh, roast. The, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the rotisserie roast. Um, so, all right, if you like this video, go to my YouTube channel called Meals Under Pressure. Like and subscribe. Also, our Facebook group uh, group page called Meals Under Pressure. And we're gonna get eaten. So we'll see y'all next time.